five minutes as no public comment period was held, but over 2,300 comments were submitted online for this special meeting. We understand that we have many different opinions on this topic in our community. At hand, a new executive order from Governor Glenn Youngkin taking effect Monday, giving parents the choice on whether to follow school mask mandates. Some districts saying they would make masks optional, while others reaffirm their mandates. Thursday, the board members discussed their various stances on the issue. COVID affects all of us. Among what was raised was the law passed last year requiring schools follow CDC guidance to the maximum extent practicable, which currently recommends universal masking. So it would be pretty hard to convince me that universal masking in our schools is impracticable as we have successfully implemented this practice for nearly two years. While others say the low risk level to children from COVID doesn't justify universal masking, some argue now is not the time to remove them with Omicron surging, while others say... Even with vaccines, boosters, and other mitigation factors, people are still testing positive. The reality is this virus is going to be with us for some time. and We need to begin to live again. Some members indicated there will be a time to remove masks, but want that decision to be guided by their local public health officials. Others instead say while they want to make masks optional now, they need guidance from the state on how to do it properly. And Yunkin's order mentions new guidance, but it hasn't been issued. How do we handle contact tracing, quarantining, and other procedural and operational concerns. In the end, the board voted 3-2 to two to keep the current measures in place, but once state guidance is out, they will revisit the issue. A reaction from those in attendance at the meeting, like the vote, was split. And we're just really thankful that the school board sided on the side of safety and health first. And it looked like they just like did everything else politicians do, and that's kick the can down the road and uh, wait on something else. Somebody else got to be the heavy. Now that last parent saying that he intends to send his high schooler to school without a mask and if he is kicked out that they intend to sue. We have reached out to Governor Youngkin's office and the Virginia Department of Education asking when this new guidance will be issued and are waiting to hear back.